Hi, this is Andre. It's been a while since my last video, uh, but it was for all the good reasons. I've been busy doing my next job and uh, all the sorts of the family stuff. All is good. Uh, I haven't abandoned the idea of building the machines and today I present you my next machine. The motivation to build it is just the exercise for my, for my daughter. Uh, she started to learn the Python programming language in the school, which was a nice surprise for me. And I decided to come up with something that she'll be able to program some sort of simple bot with simple uh, idea and uh, easy enough for really newbie, like seven years old girl can program a piece of it to make it do something meaningful. So this is the bot. And I call it a uh, color pin prog programming bot. The composition of the machine is really simple. There is a wheelbase which is able to move forward and backwards and rotate, turn in place. And there is the tape with the color pins on it. These pins are read by this uh, machine eye, the color and distance sensors of Lego boost. Uh, the tape gets uh, fed by the motor. The motor is here near the operator. So the tape feeds, uh, sensor reads the command and wheelbase executes the command. And then the idea is easy. You build some sort of labyrinth and the goal for somebody programming by color pins is to go through the labyrinth. Uh, let's demonstrate the minimal program with just basic moves on my table. We can use the four colors. Uh, Lego Boost is able to recognize approximately seven to eight basic colors. These four are known just from practice uh, to be the most easily recognizable. So the blue pin will be forward. It's important to put one space between commands so that serves as separator. So the machine knows when one command ends and another starts. And yellow and white are left and right rotation commands. So we put that on tape. This is how we write the program. We feed the tape to the initial position. And let's start the machine. So we have basic commands and now we want to build the difficult task. It, it will take me a while of experimentation to build the path from my table, from the more distant part of it from here to, to ride all the way somewhere here. Let's see how long can our program be.
So as you can see, we can execute sequences of actions programmed through the tape uh, by this machine. And I will quickly demonstrate you the parts, uh, the coarse parts that, has, that compose this machine. And I will speak shortly about the software part. And I will show you that program of my seven years old daughter uh, that makes this machine uh, translate colors into actions. The composition of the machine is quite simple. First thing we have is the power source. As always, we use USB power uh, and it's easy to attach and detach it without disassembling all the machine to reach the battery block. Then we have the top part. There are sensor and motor and we can easily disconnect that so this is the tape tape feeding part with the motor that was one of the most difficult things to build the tape with the right uh, length so it wouldn't be stuck or wouldn't be too loose to hit because the pins have to go underneath here so they cannot touch the, uh, the uh, move hubs top part and the wheels are just the wheels just four wheels with some gears uh, to move together uh, the software part of it is very simple I had to divide the things needed into two parts one is the base class it's called automata which hides all of the complexity of move hub and subscribing to sensors sending commands to the uh, to to the motors into really simple interface to feed tape get the color and do some left right forward and backward turns uh, this class relies on the Python library, you can see the link to that library on your screen and the program written by Sofia, my daughter, seven years girl, is this. So we started from the flat program and then we learned something about procedures, so we extracted a couple of procedures. One procedure is responsible for doing the action by color, uh, another procedure is responsible for reading the color and feeding the tape and the whole program is just to instantiate the object count the commands read the colors and execute the actions and print the number of commands at the end the commands are read until none comment until the empty comment is faced Regarding this machine, I started disassembling it. I'm not planning to put it all together again just because I already have next idea for the the machine which I will do my best to do very soon. That will be another exercise for my daughter to learn some new concepts of programming or just practice some basic programming and just a lot of fun for, for me from building the machines I already started assembling some per first pieces of it see you soon